Catacombs box set, the new starter set for Warcry. So uh, I figured I'd do an unboxing for this like I did with Indominus. So go ahead, the box is very big, as you can see. Um, it's probably about the same size as the original starter set, I'd have to say. Um, this is pretty much the new starter set for it, so it makes sense. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Lots of sprues. So which one do we have here? Uh, this one looks to be the flamey guys. And here are the canites. Lots of scenery. So let's take a look. What do we got? We have the bell tower again that was in the original starter. Looks like the um, wooden planks and barricades again that were in the original starter set. Some of the ruins. Some more ruins. So I think this must be part of the catacombs part, the, the part that's supposed to be in the uh, the dungeon. So we got like a little well here, great, graded well. All right, the doors and bridges. There is a bridge, that's pretty cool. All the gates and the same sprue again. So you get two of that sprue. So you get one, two, three, four, five, ten gates or doors and two bridges. All right, so now we got another divider here. Oh, it's got the artwork on it. Again, it's a very nice frame up if you like to do that. All right, we have the uh, boards and all the tokens. Oh, it's all shrink wrapped together. So, looks like the rule book, the catacombs rule book, the cards, um, all the fighters. Beneath that we have bases, some Ziploc bags for the cards, war cry dice, similar to uh, the ones from Star Set. And that's everything in the box. Let's take a closer look at some of those. All right, let's take a look at the K-Knights. Lots of little pieces. Pretty nice. These will fit in very nicely with my daughter's a cane. Right, and the flame guys, which I will look up their name at some point. So it's three sprues. It's a little smaller. Um, and the guy with the pick. Cool cloaks. I feel like uh, Salamander's players for 40k will want to grab some of these. Lots of flaming parts and uh, the scale cloaks. It's pretty nice. Parts of the, one of the coolest guys to me, the guy that's on fire. So many parts. The shoulder pads for the, uh, the leader guy. So the doors and bridge, uh, like I said, it's pretty, they're all one one piece. Just the uh, the gate door and uh, the base for it. So for this one, it has some parts that need to be glued on the back. Pretty easy to go together. Looks like this one is closed and open. There's a little lever here, so it's pretty cool. Probably the lever goes to these ones, closed and open. So this one's one of the cooler ones to me. It's just got a lot of pieces that looks like you can use in the catacombs or on a regular AOS battlefield or on a Warcry board that doesn't take place underground. So yeah, all the shields and stuff. Probably go on this one. It's very cool. This would make yeah really good scenery for a uh, death table. So bones and open coffins and then the uh, the familiar war cry ruins here bell tower and uh, enough to make one set there and then your barricades and um, bridges that go across them 
All right, right here we got the um, the board and the tokens. So all the wound tokens. Some objectives maybe specific to catacombs. Very nice. Ruler. Same one we got before. And the board. So one side has the one we're familiar with. And then the other side. Oh yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, I know this will be perfect for Warcry, obviously, but I could see some regular games of AOS being played on this, smaller point values, especially with the uh, other board expansions that they showed uh, coming out. We'll link up two of these. I mean, they got paths going off, like right here. Link up to your boards and you can actually get a decent sized gaming space going. Play some small games of AOS in here. Or even 40K. Um, would be pretty cool because chaos star you know you can play some uh, crusade battles some uh, battle patrol battle battle patrols and uh, combat patrols that's what I'm looking for. play some combat patrols here for 40k or some kill team I think it might be a slightly different board size though than the normal one I'm not really sure well, let's check and lastly we have the books and the cards so you get the uh, instructions. All right, so let's start with this. The core book, I believe this is exactly the same as what came in the original War Cry starter set. Yeah, so it's the exact same thing. So if you already have it, now you have a second one. Here's the book specific to this, Catacombs. It's much thinner, this is an expansion, this makes sense. Showed this on the community site the other day. The uh, the new map that shows going down underground. Scions of the Flame, King Knight Shadow Stalkers. Tunnels of Death. So here are the new rules for it. How to play dungeon battles. Infernal Forge Floor. So it looks like the uh, board it comes with comes with specific rules. So it makes me wonder if the, uh, the new boards they have will have specific rules as well. So it looks like. Yeah, so here's the Canine Shadow Stalkers campaigns. So you have one that takes place above ground, like the normal uh, War Cry, and we have one that is specifically below ground here in the catacombs. That's pretty cool. The darkness. Here's the science of the flames. There's the underground, underground. You've got some faded quests that can be used by any warband. And that's it. And then you got some references here on the back of oh, the Canine Shadow Stalkers. Uh, they're taking advantage of everything here. Even the back cover is just the uh, the uh, name generators and stuff for the Canaanite Shadow Stalkers, since the Scions of the Flame are in the in the original starter. I'm probably going to paint up the K Knight Shadow Stalkers to fit with my daughter's army. Um, but I don't know if we'll paint them up first. I might actually do these guys first because I know how I'm going to paint the, the K Knight ones because they got to match my army. But these guys I can kind of do whatever with. They don't need to match anything. Might base them the same as my uh, Iron Golems. Just so if I wanted to, uh, if I ever want to expand it out into the Slaves of Darkness army. And that's everything in the Catacombs box set. I'll be doing a more in-depth review of the uh, book 
uh, and some of the other contents on Mangle Miniatures in my normal written review later this week. I figured I'd get this unboxing done. You guys can see all the sprues that come in with in it. Uh, between this and the original War Cry starter set, I have so many ruins now, I can probably fill up an entire table with them. So, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and look for my full review on Mangle Miniatures later this week.